Hey everyone, it's Marco here from the Droid Goblin channel and welcome to the very first tutorial of Custom Live Wallpaper. I'll be explaining the very basics here. It's for the complete beginners that have pretty much never opened the app before. So let us begin with today's new video. Alright, so yeah, welcome to the very first tutorial of many for the Custom Live Wallpaper. The very first few videos here will be extremely basic as it will be for people who haven't yet seen the app before. So in this video I'll be going through the very basics and transitions, advanced conditions etc will not yet be covered and will only be featured in upcoming videos. So yeah, let's get started. So as mentioned in my previous video, custom isn't a widget. So the only ways of opening it are either from the app or via the live wallpaper section in your launcher. Keep in mind that you don't need to be rooted or running custom ROMs to run custom. However, not all phones or launchers are supported just yet as there's quite some intense software going on. So right now I'm using Nova Launcher, but you're welcome to use the Google Now Launcher if you want. Great, so once selected, you'll see the settings and set wallpaper shown at the bottom. We're going to be selecting the settings menu as this is where you'll be doing all of your editing. The top menu includes the menu item to access presets or skins, to export your own or just to change a few settings. The save icon at the top lets you save your current progress, but take note that this is more of a save function, not a save as. So if you want to use skins for another time, you'll need to export them. Next to that is your add item icon, which lets you add in anything you want to your wallpaper. The middle area on the right side is a few handy features, which may only become important later on, but for now you want to be focusing on the top two, the screen count as well as the auto zoom. Screen count lets you set the correct amount of screens for your wallpaper, just in case say you have three screens, but you only want to set it for two, leaving you with some odd scrolling animation. So that basically just fixes it and makes your life a whole lot easier. Automatic zoom though is amazing, letting you zoom up close to your selected item. Great if you want to edit all of those fine details. I really enjoyed this feature from custom. Now for your bottom area. This changes according to what you have selected, but basically this is where you'll be editing different items that you have created, ranging from the color all the way to the animations. For now though, I'll be simply looking at removing, adding and editing items. Great, so what I have in front of me is the default skin that comes with custom. Not the best looking, but don't worry, that's a good thing, as we are going to be changing it right now. We first want to delete the time and date, as we'll be adding our own. Simply select the two via the items menu at the bottom, which displays every item you've added to your live wallpaper. The top bar now changes to an edit type mode where you can cut, copy, share or delete multiple items. However, for now we want to select that trash can as we're going to be deleting both of those icons. Now select that plus icon at the top to add an item. From here you can add many, many things which may seem a bit overwhelming at first. So for now you can just stick to the text items if you're just starting out. Once you have selected text, the item will be placed on your wallpaper and added to your items list. It is set to the default time and it's pretty neat, you can even see the seconds there, but we can easily change all of that. Select this item in your items list and you'll now notice that a red rectangle is surrounding the item. And it's also zoomed in if you've enabled that auto zoom feature and your bottom menu items change accordingly too. The first item under the text menu is the most important as this lets you edit what is currently being shown. So if you select it, Custom will now show you a text preview as well as the functions you want to add. Let's remove this code. So simply delete the code underneath the preview. Oh, and just one thing, just because I use the term code, it doesn't mean you have to be an IT guru to understand this, as the developer did a great job at explaining it all. For now, I'm just going to be adding in the time again, as this is just the most important information people would generally use. The icons are quite self-explanatory, so select the first one to add in some time information. What is great is that everything is explained here, as well as explanations for useful code at the bottom. I'm just going to be selecting the first one, which is simply displaying the time for me. Select the tick to accept, or the cross to cancel. But we want to be selecting the tick though. Once that has been added, you can now change the font, the type, the size, the alignment, the rotation, as well as many other settings for the text in other menus.
After some light editing, I was now able to change the look of my time, but I also added in my date as well as my battery percentage. You can add in whatever you want and don't worry, I'll soon show you how to be adding your own RSS feeds, advanced calendar entries and much, much more. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to add in anything else, please let me know in the comment section below to see what you'd like to see in the upcoming tutorials. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the Droid Goblin channel if you'd like to see more Android related videos as well as custom related videos. So more tutorials as well as more feature themed videos that are going to be coming up very soon. Other than that, it's Marco here from the Droid Goblin channel and I'll see you guys next video.